Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. We're going to be doing a uh, review here on Audio Assault's new Bulldog Amsim. What you just heard was a full mix. That mix is actually from another song that I already did, but I just threw in the guitars with the Bulldog Amsim just to uh, give it a, a, a sound of what it sounds like in the mix. And I think the guitars sounded pretty good. Anyway, I think this is supposed to be modeled after Mesa Boogie or some type of Marshall or something. But let's go over this real quick. Uh, I, I actually pre-ordered this a month ago. I got it for ten bucks. It's on their website right now for eighteen ninety nine. Uh, so you got a tuner here. Let's see if this works. Eh, it does work. D. I am actually tuned to D standard right now. So you got a tuner on there, which is kind of nice. Uh, you got your input and your output volume levels here. Uh, we got settings. Ah, we got some more settings over here. Stereo. I don't think you really need that. I don't ever mess with that stuff right there. Uh, you got your stomp boxes right here. You've got your uh, noise gate, uh, your high-low booster, and your overdrive pedal. And we'll show you this. And there's basic amp. Here you got your lead, your rhythm, and your clean tone. It looks like with each lead and rhythm, you got a high gain switch, a boost switch, and it looks like edge and an edge button. I've already used this at the edge button and the shift button that are right here. I don't really hear much of a sound difference. The boost definitely boosts it and just kind of dirties it up, gives you some more gain and whatnot. We'll play this in a second, just showing you everything here real quick. Cab section, I already have some. Uh, it's back to your Bulldog 4x12 cabinet. And I've already loaded up some impulse responses that I have, but the ones that, the only ones that come with it, I guess, are these six. It looks like you've got four Mesa Boogie cabinets, a Marshall, and then something else. You got Chubby Balance, two thicks, another balance, and a dark. Um, you've got two loaded. This loader is actually pretty cool. This is different, so you can mix them, and if you see these things right here, you've got a mic. You can adjust the microphone in front of the speaker, and then over here, you can adjust the distance of the microphone from the speaker. And you can do that on both uh, cab loaders right here, which is pretty cool. I'll, I'll, I'll show you that. Um, what else we got? Effects, you got your standard audio salt, you got your graphic EQ, your delay, and your reverb. So we'll, let's just play this. I'm gonna turn my microphone off so you don't hear the guitar twanging, and we will mess with this a little bit. So that's how it sounds right out of the box. Okay, we're gonna turn on the rhythm here. Pick up the high gain, high gain switch. And the boost.
Okay, there's just a quick messing around with it right there. It actually sounds pretty cool. Um, I'm a purse, my personal taste, not necessarily my choice of a plugin, but I do think it really gives you kind of a Marshall Mesa boogie sound as far as I think we're just gonna mess with this a little bit. I'm gonna turn down some nasal. Um, so that's a 4K right there. It's turned on the 4K. We're gonna leave the reverb at five. So on the cab, I'm just using the straight Bulldog 4x12. The amp we just tweaked a little bit. We got it on rhythm. We got the boost on, the high gain on. Turn the mids down a little bit. Turn up the presence. Uh, turn on your overdrive. And turn it down to four on the drive and the level. And this sounds pretty cool. I mean, I mean, right out of the box like that, not a bad sound at all. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It is a very, it sounds very realistic. Not necessarily my choice of tone, but it sounds realistic. Now let's go back to the cab. Uh, let me show you. We'll go through some of the impulse responses that come with it. So right now it's on your standard Bulldog 4x12. We'll go to Chubby. <laughs> There's thick. That one right there is my favorite out of the ones that come with it. There's the other thick. Here's the other balanced. Last one's dark. So let me show you um, how these mics work, which is really cool. We're gonna go back. Uh, I don't know how to get the standard bulldog. Go back. Oh, here we go. Bulldog four by twelve. <laughs> All right, let me show you how these mics work because it's pretty cool. I don't think Audio Salt has had this in any of their guitar plugins before, which is really cool. So we're going to play this. We're going to move this around. So that right there is emulating moving a mic around a different position of the speaker. And this one moves, uh, emulates moving the mic further away or closer. All right, I think that's. Let's get this back to where it was. The only thing that sucks, I don't think you can get this back to perfect zero. Oh well, we're close enough. All right, now we're back to where we were. Um, what else is there to show you? Obviously, you can always turn off this cab loader and put a whole other impulse response cab loader on there if you want to, or obviously you can load your own impulse responses. Let's try the booster. <laughs> here so we can get a better sound. show you the preset I made on this.
okay, you might be asking yourself, like, hey, that's, that, that doesn't really sound too much better. I guess that's opinion. I think that sounds pretty cool. But more importantly, that sits well in a mix. That's what you guys heard at the beginning of this video. But we're going to work off that a little bit more. Let's crank up some uh, bass on it. Okay, we got that to sound a lot heavier. Uh, there's, just like any of these amp sims, you can load up your own IRs, tweak with this. This is this one, the Sam sim is pretty cool. It's got a dirty sound to it. Um, loading in that impulse response definitely kind of seemed to take a bit away a little bit of width. Okay, guys, we just loaded up one of my favorite plugins here. It's a Chorus WS1 pedal by Mercurial. I can't say that. Uh, this is free. It's over on their website. And I love this Chorus pedal. Watch how this sounds. Okay, crap, we haven't even hit the lead channel. Let's go, let's do some lead on here. Let's crank up some reverb. Let's go up to 20 here. And let's do a little bit of delay. Whoa, we got a lot of delay on there. Let's do uh, 24. Okay, let's try some clean tone. I'm gonna leave the chorus on there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna factory reset this thing, get everything back to zero, and then we're gonna to go to the cab. And I wanna to go to Borgren Digital IR Pack. Um, you guys can get this on his website. Uh, we're gonna to go to Rainbows. Because there's a really nice creamy warmth IR in here. Let's mess with this a little bit. I'm gonna turn off my mic so you can hear it. Right, guys at this point i'm just rambling on this video is probably long enough uh that's it uh there's so much crap you can do with this it's pretty cool right now audio salt's got it for 20 dollars. can't beat it the i love audio salt if you guys don't know who audio salt is 
I'm going to try to leave a link in the description to their website so you can check out all of their their plugins. I highly recommend them, especially for a beginner. If you don't have a lot of money, you can get in, you can get plugins that are from five dollars up to about forty or fifty bucks, and they have the best bass impulse sim, the bass duality studio. I think that one's a little pricey. I don't know, it was like twenty eight bucks or something, but it makes your bass guitars sound freaking fat and metal. Anyway. I'll leave a link. Go check this out. For 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. This definitely has a unique sound. Sounds very realistic, and uh, I like it. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, click the like button. Subscribe if you like this video. Let me know what you guys think of the video and what you think of this AmSim, if you guys already have it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it, okay? All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to do another video after this. I have another brand new AmSim. I'm going to do a... Uh, a video review on stay tuned for that don't know exactly when i get that out but uh stay metal out there guys and thank you for watching